Hey, Miss Mikey, how was your doctor's visit? Yeah. Wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah. He didn't even poke you, did he? Yeah. You were nervous about going, weren't you? Yeah. You don't like blood draws. Yeah. Blood draws hurt? Yeah. No, they don't hurt. They don't hurt, not really. Just for a second. You like PA Stangle? Yeah. yeah. You ready to go to your day program? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is Micah's manual wheelchair right here that she uses and I got it out today and the armrest right there is sitting in the van there are a couple of screws that go underneath it that were missing we'll have to see if we can fix it so don't hurt your arm on that on that piece of metal right there we'll have to see if we can get that fixed so we are standing right outside the doctor's office and when we came through, the doors were still open. I didn't think about it. I could have showed you how Micah pushes the, the blue button to open up the door. There are two glass doors. And I was gonna wait and it takes too long for the doors to close and I'm gonna take her to her day program. I never make doctor's appointments on Monday because Mondays are typically harder days so I've just learned don't make appointments on Monday. So I made an appointment today because I couldn't get one early enough. So I took this one on Monday and I just made this appointment a few days ago and I got here and they said, we don't have an appointment for you until September. And I said, I made this appointment today. I just made it a few days ago. Anyway, they said sometimes their system jumps because I sat down, I get really confused. I'm like, I know I am not confused on this because I have to change a lot of things up. And I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it today and I was going to cancel it this morning at 8 o'clock if I didn't feel well enough, but I managed to get here. I wouldn't say I feel good, but I managed to get here to the appointment and I'm going to take her to a program. So I was positive I didn't mess this up, but I sat down, you know, and I opened up the calendar and I'm like, I have it today for 9.20. Anyway, I'm not sure what time it is now, but it took a while to get in because they had to squeeze us in. But the the PA, physician assistant, we've been seeing him for over 20 years. <clears throat> he um, is fabulous and he loves Micah, the whole office loves Micah. We've been bringing our whole family here for over 20 years, then insurance changed and we started going to a doctor that's down the street from the house, but Micah can still go here, <clears throat> can, still, can still come here to the doctor. So this is what we're doing. Okay, so why did I bring her in? And CP Chick, you asked me about my sunglasses. Um, yes, these are prescription sunglasses. I keep these in the van. These are older sunglasses and they're, they're for distance. So I wear trifocals, that's long distance, <clears throat> uh, computer, and then the bottom is for reading. These are for long distance, so I use these when I drive. These are an older script. I just leave them in the van because they work for driving. And then my newer ones that are bigger, and they're, um, they're that tortoise design. Those are the newer script, and I keep those in the car. So the reason that we came for this appointment is because of Micah's AFOs. You have to have a script for, or you, insurance won't cover unless it's been five years since you've had them. You can't see this good with her sock on, I don't think. But right here, this, this curves around and it's actually making a permanent uh, depression in her leg right here. And I'm not going to take all of her salt. I didn't have time to, to video in the, the doctor's room in the, um, inside the patient room this morning because they were, um, they were squeezing us in. So they were in a hurry and we didn't wait in there long enough for me to do a video. This right here is a problem, and then the foot part doesn't fit. And see all this extra padding? We took, he, he's adjusted these several times. I'm just going to take your shoe off, okay? Just for a second. Is it okay to take your shoe off for just a second? Okay, see this um, extra... They shouldn't have to have this much padding inside of the AFO, and I know that is ankle, foot orthotic, guys, last time. People are still telling me what that means. Um, okay, so it's got padding, can you see that? It's got padding all in it. And we took him in and he didn't even match up the padding on there. So it's been a rather annoying experience, and I'll tell you a little more in just a second. 
I am back home and I wanted to show you the very first pair of AFOs that this new guy did that we've never used before. We've been using the same company for a long time, but Micah's private therapist has used this guy several times and he's mobile, so he would go to her program and then I didn't have to make an appointment. But we've ended up, so I've never been to his office, but we've had several appointments where he's had to come out and he's had to readjust her AFOs so I just showed you the ones that she's currently using but I want to show you the ones that he originally made okay this is a convoluted uh, AFO I need the tripod so I can like explain this to you so he made this pair without asking us if we wanted to change the kind of AFOs he just took it upon himself to make this AFO it's really, really pinched right here where this piece of Velcro is. I'll take the Velcro off. It's really, really pinched, so it was pinching her foot, and it was... Um, okay, here we go. See how that comes across right there? It was pinching her foot. Okay, so that's one piece of Velcro I just took off. And then there's... Um, and these are just really thin pieces of Velcro. They're not good and sturdy like what we're used to having. That little piece down inside there, that comes out. So that is one, two, three pieces. And then this part up here also has a piece that comes off. So there are multiple pieces. Okay, so this piece right here that would um, go against the shin bone to make it a little bit softer, this piece comes off. So there are multiple pieces here. There was nothing very good about this. The reason we still have them, we have it written on the bottom here. Keep in backpack. Micah's therapist, Linda, uses these on Thursday whenever she walks Micah. She says Micah walks really well in these, but she can only be in them for a few minutes. So she's in them long enough for Micah to walk, and then she has to get out of them into the other ones. So we started with these tried for weeks to make these thing work these things work and so we were trying to get her adjusted to them because he kept pushing back that they were you know they were really good and they weren't really pinching and what we were seeing really wasn't the AFO I mean just it was crazy to me I don't know where he got the idea that he could just make Micah some kind of AFO without even asking us if we wanted to get something different so that was the first thing so we tried, so what we were doing, we were using her old AFOs and then we were trying to use these and, you know, maybe introduce her to the, the new ones a little bit at a time, but there was just no way. They weren't going to work. So we ended up with the current ones and we've asked him to adjust them several times. A script is good for five years, so we have to keep those AFOs that I just showed you that she's wearing. And I'm sorry, this is wobbling. My arm is resting on my leg. The... Um, but then when I hold hold my arm by myself, my arm arm is gonna get tired. So I'm sorry. The um, I lost my train of thought. The current AFO is okay. The five year thing. So it's only been about two years. So I just went to the doctor to get a new script and a letter saying that it was medically necessary for her to get new AFOs. So I'm not sure exactly how he's going to write it down and I'm not going to see the letter. I gave him a fax number to send over to the place that we've been using for many years and I'll just take Micah in and have them make the braces, the AFOs, have them make new ones. We've never had any problems like this before, and that depression that's on the side of her leg has been there for a long time. So we'll just see how this goes. So I am late on my video today. I just got home. There wasn't anything that I could video about Micah. I always have the staff come out and help me get her out, but I got the wheelchair out, and then I got Micah out, and then they were just kind of there to, to, um, to uh, moral support because I didn't tell them to actually get Micah out. Sometimes when I go and I say, can you, can you guys get, um, there's Reagan, you going to work? Okay, see ya, have a good day. The, um, he's on a short day at school, he has four classes plus zero hours, so he has zero hours at 7 a.m., so he's five classes total, and then he's going to be starting at the community college and getting some 
college classes. I'm not sure how many classes that is, but he's going to be starting that uh, next week. So he is working at Home Depot, has a part-time job. So part-time school, part-time job, and then he will be in college part-time. So he's going to be pretty busy this year. That is what I've been doing today with Miss Micah. That is the news for the day. Oh, and I have a CNA story. If I can get this right, I'll just condense it down. Short story, Micah's Saturday night shift was supposed to be at 8.15, so they called and asked me if it would be okay to come at... Um, can, can, can the girl come at... 9:30 and I said no. I'm let and well um and I said no and she said well you know sending somebody else only if they're on Micah's team. She said nobody's available and I said I'll take an open shift. She said well what if I can find somebody that's really good, you know, somebody that she would recommend and I said no and I gave her the reason why I don't let brand new girls come that have not been trained. So by the time we hang up, she insists that she's going to have her here by 8.15, at the latest by 9. I tried to get her to just agree to 9 o'clock. Let's just make it 9 o'clock before we hang up the phone, and then I just know somebody's coming at 9 o'clock. And she refused to do that. The girl that she was sending, she knew wasn't going to be here by 9 o'clock. So the nurse, not the on-call person, calls me back before 9 and says, Oh, your shift has been canceled. Can, um, can Taylor come at 9.15? And I totally went off on her, and I said no. I told her nothing past 9 o'clock. So she knew that the CNA wasn't going to be here at 8.15 or at 9 o'clock. And I could have already had Micah in bed because I put her, when, when she didn't show up, it was 8.18, and I figured that, that the girl wasn't coming on Saturday night. So I went ahead and took Micah to the bathroom, but I could have taken Micah and put her to bed after I took her to the bathroom. I wasn't upset that I had to, that I was willing to take an open shift in the very beginning. I'm upset because she knew that that CNA wasn't even available and insisted on this 815 thing. When she couldn't come at 815, she couldn't even come at 9. So I just hung up with the agency just a few minutes ago and I said, you know, I think this has happened before. I don't know what that noise is. This has happened before, I don't know what that is, where I feel like they are dishonest with me, but I, I don't think there's any way around this one that the CNA was not available and then you canceled it. Well, I didn't actually cancel it because you told me somebody was coming, and then when they called me back the second time, it wasn't even the same person, so it wasn't the on-call person, it was actually the RN. It was the, the, the nurse that called me back the second time to say, your shift has been canceled. So they, what they did just didn't make any sense. So I'm pretty upset about that. So I ended up getting Micah to bed. It was after 9 when I put her to bed, but she could have been in bed earlier. The, the deal about going to bed, Micah sits in a wheelchair all day long, and she does range of motion three times a day. She's in her standard 20 minutes twice a day. We walk her from the living room into the bathroom, walk her from the living room to her bedroom so she doesn't take her wheelchair in there. So she's out of her chair as much as we can get her out in a day and do other things with her so she has other positions and she can move other parts of her body and other muscles. But when it comes time to go to bed, even if she doesn't go to sleep right away, she needs to be able to stretch her body out and rest. She needs to lay down and rest her body from all of the things that she's been doing. And the number one thing would be sitting in her wheelchair because that's where she sits the most. You know, I sit down, I stand up. Right now I'm sitting on the couch. I'll lay down on the couch. I'll go up and down the stairs. You know, I've been driving the car today. Um, you know, I might sit on the floor. I sit on the bed. I lay on the bed. You know, I do all kinds of things. Well, I'm not laying on the bed during the daytime. But I'm in a lot of different positions in a day, and Micah doesn't have the opportunity to do that. So when it's time for her to go to bed, she needs to be able to lay down and rest. And anyway, it just was very upsetting to me that I felt like they blatantly knew there wasn't going to be a CNA and wait until it's late and then try one more time. 
can she come at 9.15? And I said, absolutely not. And I said, you make sure that you tell the girl that called me earlier, you make sure that she knows that I told her not after 9 o'clock and she knew that nobody was coming. So anyway, that's a Tam rant. I will talk to you soon. Let me know. Let me Tell me if you've ever worn these kind of AFOs or if you've ever seen these before. They're crazy to me. And I will talk to you soon. Have yourself a wonderful, beautiful day. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord. Bye-bye.